The eastern hognose snake has a number of defenses. It will uh, flare its neck up similar to a cobra. It has a pattern somewhat reminiscent of a rattlesnake. It will gape its mouth wide, it will hiss loudly, it will release a horrible smelling musk. It will do all these things in order to defend itself. However, if all else fails, they roll over and play dead. So there's very few animals on the planet that have such a varied uh, defense system. And they are completely harmless to people, uh, but they put on such a big show that they often uh, meet their demise at the end of a shovel. Well, unfortunately, snakes are often a, a hard sell. Uh, people have uh, kind of seen them as these misunderstood creatures, whether it's from books, movies, uh, old religious connotations, and uh, they don't see them for what they are, uh, and that is a one, a, a beautiful creature, but also an important part of our local ecosystem. So in order to get funding, uh, unfortunately, funding often goes to uh, animals such as uh, deer, duck, bass, uh, and pretty feathered animals, uh, or the big furry animals. And unfortunately, snakes are, are none of those things. So they've often been put on the back burner, and that's part of the reason they are so at risk now. Uh, we see that uh, populations have fallen to a point where it's a game of catch up because for decades, uh, people have not given them the same worth or the same attention uh, that they would uh, some of our, our larger animals or animals that might have some sort of economic benefit to people. And uh, I think we need to look at animals uh, for what they are, uh, not for what they can do for people. And unfortunately, uh, we are now trying to change those views uh, because their populations have dropped to a point where uh, we rarely see these animals anymore. And the fact that we were able to find a nest uh, that is either normally predated um, or, uh, or there's just no adults in the population left to, to produce a nest uh, is quite significant. So we're very excited and, and uh, happy to be able to release these young into the wild. Uh, we will be putting microchips or pit tags into each of these animals before release. And that way we can monitor them over the life of the snake. Uh, but the main characteristic uh, to ID the species is the upturned snout on the snake. And that upturned snout allows them to dig in sandy areas, uh, whether it's to burrow down to survive the winter or whether it is to lay eggs. So that uh, upturned snout is like a shovel for the eastern hognose snake. We care about our environment. This is absolutely essential. Everything the Conservation Authority does is on the basically the forefront of environmental protection, uh, environmental education. If we are not educating students, if we are not educating young, if we are not educating adults, uh, we're failing in our role as stewards of this land.